It is a tough topic, but a local hospital is making sure sexual assault is a topic of conversation. In doing so, it's also helping put victims' attackers behind bars. Thanks for joining us, everybody. I'm Bob Clausen. And I'm Ashley Ketz. Our Hillary Hunt is at UAMS to show us how a recent grant is using telemedicine to keep that promise. $4 million will combine this telemedicine at rural hospitals with sexual assault nurses, all thanks to the help of UAMS to make sure those victims are getting what they need. Then we'll go ahead and start collecting evidence. A small box holding the fate of a victim. We don't want to be part of... Uh, the lack of justice for that patient because we didn't do something correct. Sherry Searcy is one of only 13 nationally certified sexual assault nurses here in Arkansas. We want to make sure your swabs are dry. Now she and UAMS are on a mission to make sure any and all sexual assault victims will have their evidence collected properly and cared for at any ER in the state, no matter how big or how small the hospital is. The patients that come to UAMS, they get levelized care. So now we want that levelized care to go out through all the rural areas is all the hospitals or at least have offered that availability. Thanks to a grant awarded to AMS and telemedicine, a new pilot program will allow specialized nurses like Sherry to be a FaceTime away to guide other nurses on how to gather evidence needed. We believe that um, the number of convictions will go up. We believe the number of reports will go up. The Arkansas Coalition Against Sexual Assault saying this funding could help get closer to closing a gap in the lack of education in resources for victims. This money coming in to UAMS and the opportunity that it provides for serving sexual assault victims is really huge. As for Sherry, she says this isn't just about the care provided, but about the person affected. If this happens to you, you can go to this ER, you can go to this place to be taken care of, and there are there are resources for you, and so they don't feel so alone. UAMS hopes the success of this pilot program will lead to something bigger than just here in Arkansas. They're hoping it's going to be implemented throughout the United States in hospitals, schools, universities, even crisis centers. In Little Rock, I'm Hillary Hunt. Let's send it back to you.